We've been in Southeast Asia for many years now. It's pretty exciting to be moving forward with new horizons ahead and, and new countries to explore. So yeah, let's get this boat going. Departing Thailand was an emotional time on board Nanji 2 as we've created some great memories in the land of smiles. Although with our pending Indian Ocean Crossing departure date rapidly approaching, we're on a fast track to the Malaysian island of Langkawi for one last stop off to collect and install the final pieces to complete Nanji 2. Our time in Asia is rapidly coming to an end and whilst it is sad to wave goodbye, our feelings are all positive with what lies ahead. There has been a lot of hard work invested in our dream of sailing around the world and to now be at the cusp of the next chapter, the future is looking great. I did it, took the plunge, I got a washing machine. It took me so long to figure out the dimensions, where it's gonna go, what cupboard I'm gonna sacrifice, uh, where the pipes are gonna go, all that jazz. But I ended up getting this one from Aussie, Aussie Traveller. It's uh, a three kilogram front load washer and it's going to change my life. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Oh, That's yeah. seven years in the making. It is actually eight years. We've been living on a boat for eight years now. So Eight years eight in the years making. Eight years of hand washing laundry. Five of those years it was in salt water only because we didn't have a water maker. So this is very much so appreciated and needed. This is just going to help me out so much. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Woohoo! She's pretty. It's the front loader as well. I was concerned that if I got a top loader and I was trying to use it while we're sailing, it's just going to slosh water everywhere. So I went for the front loader. So it's completely encapsulated and I could use it on the go and I like a rolly anchorage and everything. Um, I do have a friend with a top loader and she said that yeah, when it when they're at a rolly anchorage she can't fill the, top, the tub all the way up. I'd rather just buy this and be 100% happy with it than buy a top loader and, um, and then end up probably one of these down the track. So. It looks pretty simple. It looks like we just need to hook the water up and plug it in. For us, it was hard deciding on what cupboard to sacrifice and where to put it. We'd love to have one of those wall mounting ones, but we don't really have a wall space to put it on. I've ended up sacrificing this cupboard, which is mainly the linen cupboard, but I do have a spare cupboard in my bedroom um, that's meant for my clothes, but it doesn't have much in there. So I think I'm going to put all the linen in our bedroom and just move things around the boat and put it in here. The only problem is that if we have guests on board, this is gonna be their cupboard space that we're taking up as well. We'd probably move that out for their cupboard, but we do have other big drawers and things in here that we can utilize, so it should be okay. <laughs> I've emptied everything out of these top two cupboards and the top shelf here that I need to remove, it just, slides out like this so that is fantastic hopefully it can just sit here on this shelf this is going to be a tight squeeze and there are some brackets and stuff at this cupboard so I'm going to take everything out that we possibly can to try to see if it'll fit we need every single centimeter in here there's this one little bracket here taken the covers off of the wires as well. The width of the cupboard is 60 centimeters and so is the diagonal of the washing machine. So it is just on the line. Not 100% sure if we can make this work, but we're gonna give it a go. It might take a little bit of muscle power. <laughs> Right, this is monumentous. Oh, we finally box four 
of four has arrived at the hydrovane. That's right. Self-steering old Rob Dog number two. He's coming on board. Let's go get him. Can I get through, mate? Langkawi and the boat is complete utter chaos mess already once again but we had our packages here ready and waiting so we've managed to get the, the Benita's washing machine <laughs> so we've got that in we've got that semi installed or it's in position it just needs to be plumbed uh, and the hydrovane has rocked up this is our last piece of the puzzle before we get out of here installing the hydrovane really is the, the finishing touch to making Nanji 2 a blue water ocean crossing sailing machine. You know, we've got the new rig, put the hydrovane on the back, basically having another crew member that doesn't talk back. So like, we loved our hydrovane on OG Nanji and 95% of the time when we were sailing, we were using the hydrovane. So uh, it was definitely an easy decision for us to want to get one once again for Nanji 2, especially coming up with the ocean crossing ahead of us. But, I gotta get it on. <sighs> We're already running quite late and I guess it's less talk more action mate. This is probably going to be the quickest hydrovane install you're ever going to see. <laughs> Drilling the first hole is the hardest bit. You know, I don't know, gee Nanji, I got to the point where I just whipped out the drill and just drilled a hole through the hole and I was sweet mate. Yeah. Didn't bother me one little bit. But you did I like one like this big. What was it? What, what's the thing that you used? The hole saw. Yeah, the hole saw. Yeah, no worries, mate. <laughs> and I was happy and I was fine and I loved every second of it. But I haven't drilled any holes through the hull of Nanji 2 just yet. It's a little bit daunting. And the first hole of this installation is the hardest hole. It's like, whilst there's three inches of play out, out on the outside here inside the lazarette it's like it's very skinny and i don't know how thick the glass is but there's only like a space like that so i need to smash the hole from the outside to that perfection i can't go from inside to out because it needs to be aligned perfectly out here drilling so wish me luck eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> gonna check it not really. Yes! It's like nearly perfect. It could have went a little bit higher, but I couldn't have put it higher on the outside, so. <sighs> All right, let's move on and pull this thing on. Oh, there it is. Good, eh? Yeah, good. that was good, yeah. Moment of truth, it's all been installed. Let's turn it on. Hi, we got cotton wash, quick wash, soft, high temp, spin, drum clean. I like that it's got a quick wash on here as well. So um, it's a three kilogram washer. Let's have a look. It's a little drum. It's so cute! Okay, so here we go. We've got the load, we've got the laundry powder in. Close her up. Cotton. Let's push play. Well, it looks like it's working and I can hear the water pump in the background going off. So it's pulling water from our water tanks. Just let her do her thing. Thanks, Sherry. Her name's Sherry. This is epic. Okay, so when it, it's all plumbed in. It's all plumbed in, so we're good. We're good. This first bracket, that the H bracket, we've drilled the two holes, and mate, I can't believe how perfect I've managed to do this. <laughs> 
It was quite touch and go and I remember when we were first planning on installing I had this elaborate plan of building a block and putting this steel underneath it to reinforce and bolting that through the back of the swim deck and teaking that up and like it was quite elaborate and you know now it comes down to the crunch this is the last thing we plan to do before we get sailing so I just got to get this on so we can get out of here. The quickest way to do that was to mount the H bracket on the back here and like I'd made up a few templates previously and I was thinking it could fit but I wasn't too sure if it could or not but like now that we've come push comes to crunch and I've drilled the holes and like mounting it made this elaborate backing plate here mate it's perfect day eh? so whew, I just I'm feeling very stoked right now but I can't contain my excitement it's gonna get these bolts in so we can finish off the rest as Tallulah would say check this out Look at how perfect those holes are. Are you kidding me? This is up in there. Oh. Because the backing plate, you know, it's flat and the transom has that curve as it goes around. So rather than just trying to bend this, I've dug into my little fiberglassing container. See what I have in there and I've got a heap of filler. So I'm gonna mix up a, an epoxy filler. So that'll fill up the void between the hull and the backing plate. So when it's pulled tight, it's all that filler is going to fill up that void in that space. So the backing plate's really going to be pulling on one big flat surface, not, not just in a couple of spots, basically. So the idea is to over engineer this. And I think that's going to make it pretty rock solid. The beautiful thing about Nanji 2 is that the holes that are drilled is through solid fiberglass and that fiberglass is over an inch thick. So, mate, do the maths. That's a lot of fiberglass, so it's super strong. Oh, love Nanji 2. We're nearly there. Well, I got my new friend for new free shark toy waiting for me. You got your new shark toy waiting for you? Yeah. Wow, why did you get a shark toy? No, well, we last time we got in the shop and we need to find something we can make a shark. Well, so, you, yeah? We can make one. You can make a shark? We can make one. Oh, of course we can. Yeah. Coming up, Lula. Now I'm talking. <laughs> I'm the first but I am my Tallulah. Your name is Tallulah. How old are you, Tallulah? I'm three. Where do you live? I am this. Well, yes, you do live on that boat. Yeah. <laughs> Had a really successful day yesterday. I got um, the fire extinguishers changed out for new ones. So I got three of these, um, the ABC powder type. I got some new canisters for our PFDs. So I've replaced those and I also just went over it, made sure um, all the lights and everything were still working and that there were no holes in in the actual jacket so I gave it a little service and uh, changed over the canisters yeah and I also got two new PFDs for our crew members and then I also got the decal stickers made they're on their way and then today Tallulah and I did the provisioning so we've just done two big shops at the supermarket and got as much as we can yeah, things are getting a lot more expensive than they used to be here, so we didn't go completely overboard with it. I think when we get to Penang, we may just need to bump it up a little bit, but this will get us pretty fast. I've done like a stock tag on our first aid supplies, and I've just gone and gotten a whole bunch of other met new medical stuff today, just to top it all up and make sure we've got as much as we can, we're ready for anything kind of deal. Um, yeah, and so now I'm up to putting it all away way and in the meantime cleaning out the cupboards and reorganizing as well so it's quite a task and it's the boat's overwhelming me with all this stuff everywhere so we've got a couple of bunches of bananas here and they don't last very long so what i like to do is um, peel them and bag them and freeze them and then i just chuck them i just have them every day for a smoothie so i just chuck them in the blender frozen um, with some ice and some protein powder and whatever else. Also, I went to the doctors today as well and got a whole bunch of like prescription medication, antibiotics and stuff for the trip. Uh, just in case, yeah, we are like stocked up. If anything happens to anyone, we are covered, we are good. So yeah, but we do have like a prescription for that that we carry on the boat. Yeah, it's just important to, to have that. 
some of these need a little bit of operating. So I'm just gonna give them a little trim. They can join their family. Banana prep is done. In the freezer we go. Oh yeah, this is my favorite thing. Banana smoothies. Oh, there she is, dry mounted. Everything's just lightly bolted in and loose and still using the pipe, obviously. All well, that needs to change over to the actual hydromain shaft, but yeah, I know the, uh, it's looking pretty square forward and back. Well, there is room to play with these forward arms, the, the top two arms, so there is a little room for play there, but uh, otherwise, I think that's it, eh? I know a spirit level doesn't really make sense on a boat when it's rolling around, but got to make it as close to square and to the eyeball as possible. And by the use of a spirit level does help by doing that. But yeah, stoked. Moment of truth. Right, I had to drop the shaft down just a whisker so the bearing spins properly. It says to be 50 mil and we're about 70, so like I was at 60 and I thought it felt a little bit tight in the bearing, so I just dropped it down another 10 mil. But we might need to take it up that extra 20. It's like right on the edge. It's because it is that little bit short, I think. And I didn't quite get it perfectly in the center. That was more just so the base would line up. So um, the joy about this is that because the shaft is here and then the vein bit is off center, you might just need to turn it. That vein is perfectly in the center up there. Has got room to play. Okay. It just means that we're going to be on the side a little bit. That's okay. Right, eh? That's fine. Daddy. Gosh, I'm loving the washing machine. This is how much I got done today. Got all the sheets washed while I'm doing other things as well. So, my God, she's I love her. She's awesome. What's her name? Sherry. Her name's Sherry. She doesn't hold that much laundry, but it's only half an hour washes, so I just keep going. She doesn't use much power or water, so happy. We've officially cleared out of Malaysia. We're just at the fuel barge now, filling the boat up. It's all happening. We're gonna be setting sail first thing tomorrow morning for Indonesia. Um, yeah, so this is the last time we'll be in Malaysia. Hey, this is where you were born. You were born in Malaysia. I'll be in Malaysia. I said, I can pay to say hi. <laughs> you said hi on the phone, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, here we are. End of an era, I'm so happy to be saying goodbye to Malaysia. Yeah. It served us well, mm. same deal, but Nate, I'm over it, I'm ready to move on. Yeah. We've been in Southeast Asia for many years now and we know our way around. <laughs> and so it's kind of just getting to be the same, same, same. So yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting to be moving forward with new horizons ahead and, and new countries to explore. So yeah, let's get this boat going. Off the lines. Don't need these anymore. Let's go and anchor somewhere, get ready. We'll set sail first thing tomorrow morning.